hi welcome to my channel blue lady thrifting please like share and subscribe leave a comment if you so desire today's video is a haul video from three different trips to the menagerie sometimes you find a little bit and sometimes you find a lot so in these three trips i found a little bit so that's why i combined them all together and let's see today we're going to change it up and start with the purses let's start with this one back here this brighton i paid eight dollars for it and it would sell for about fifty dollars and my little note here says to see back so let's see what I wrote on the back. Oh, the lemon yellow one has sold between $300 and $360 for the summery lemon yellow one. But this one is more fall. Still, could sell for $50. That's a nice profit. Next up is this right here. I'd never heard of this brand or seen this brand before. It is Design Zagul. Um, it's a double gin crossbody, and I paid $8 for it. It has sold anywhere between $15 and $50, but most of them selling for about $30. But it's a different design that I hadn't seen before. And this one I have seen before. I think I just did a video about a black Liz Claiborne with this diamond pattern. I paid $6 for this one, and it would sell for about $30. Then, of course, you know I like the blue. This one was only $5. It is a Rosetti. Um, it sells anywhere between 15, no, $14 and $34. But they're all very nice inside, nice and clean, no issues. And then the last purse was this one right here. It's um, an Apartment 9, um, the beaded evening bag with its nice stringy shoulder thing there paid four dollars for this one and it sells anywhere between 12 and 20 dollars all right that was all for the purses let's move on to some hard goods and we'll start with these right here um the day that i was at the menagerie um the yellow tags were half off so i only got two yellow tagged items and this one i only got for 50 cents and then this one was for three dollars and they're not that much different in size so I don't really understand the difference in price but or the difference in color maybe maybe one came in on one week and then the other one came in on another week but these are both haul and they are different this is twelve seventy two and this one I believe is twelve seventy three yep um they sell they're Irish coffee mugs, and they sell for about nine to eighteen dollars for a pair. So I guess, I guess I'll sell those together as a pair. See how they go. Then the other item that was half off was this right here, and I would not have picked it up unless it was half off because it was fifteen dollars, which I feel is about retail. But it's a, I believe it's a Fenton. Yes, it's a Fenton. I wrote down Burmese satin blue glass hand painted floral signed bud vase so it is signed on the bottom there by george i believe and it would sell between 12 and 16 dollars so i might put this at the store and i wrote down in my notes that if it were yellow this yellow satin glass with the hand painted flowers it sells between 25 and 35 dollars so if you see the blue one it's nice, but if you find the yellow one, that's the one that sells for more. All right, moving on to these tile plates. I liked these plates for the colors and they gave me some fall vibes, so I might save them for fall. They are, let's see, licensed art workers. You have Phoenix Creative 2006, regularly 16 99 in 2006 um made in china the let's see inlaid tiles that's what they're called inlaid tiles i paid three dollars each for these um 
forgot to tell you that I usually go to the menagerie on Fridays and on Fridays it's 20% off senior day so I usually go on Fridays so these tile plates were 20% off three dollars and let's see what did I write down a set of three bird ones have sold for $13 a set of four holiday ones have sold for $24 a set of four animal ones have sold for $34 and a set of two fish have sold for $20. So it looks like anywhere between, I don't know, maybe $10 a piece for these. I'm thinking sounds good to me. All right, let's move on. Behind there are these very cute cats. Look at all the different cats. My favorite one is the skinny one right there. Um, these are like soy sauce, sushi dipping, wasabi dish mini bowls. Um, I paid 50 cents each for them and they are not marked anywhere on the bottom. They're pretty plain on the bottom. Um, they would sell as a set anywhere between eight and $11. All right, moving behind them for the anthropomorphic vegetables. Um, the inanimate objects that are giving, that are given human characteristics. So these with their happy face and their sad face, the carrots in front. Um, let's see, I believe I paid $4 for each set and they're not marked specifically on the bottom, but they do have their stoppers and then the peppers, um, in the back. Oh, they are marked Taiwan. They were made in Taiwan but very cute. And again, $4 for each set and they sell anywhere between 15 and $40. So the anthropomorphic are fun things that people like to have. And then the other salt and pepper shakers, the last of the salt and pepper shakers, I believe for this trip were these guys right here, these little sombrero wearing guys. One looks like a girl to me, one looks like a boy. I paid $5 for the set and they sell for about $12. These ones do not have their stoppers, but you just cut off a piece of cork and then that's your stopper. I thought they were cute. All right, behind them is this right here. This Coke glass, this red Coke glass. Unfortunately, I don't think it is red glass. I believe it is flashed and the flashing is pretty well on this glass on the bottom you can see a little bit of the flashing coming off um i paid two dollars for it and it would sell anywhere between four and ten dollars but i do have a coke collection going on in my kitchen so this might be like a keeper for display i don't know put some flowers in it or maybe some canned peppermint candies in it maybe something like that all right let's talk about this guy right here. This is a happy face mug and they sell different ones. They sell telefloral ones. The telefloral ones have like the little line right here by the smiley face and the handle is different. And then they sell, I believe, I think it's a McCoy pottery. Maybe it's some brand name pottery sells a smiley face mug like this, but this one is made in China. It's a different one. The McCoy one or the name brand pottery one has um, bigger eyes and also a different handle. But this one's made in China. I only paid two dollars for it and it sells anywhere between five and twelve dollars. But it's very cheery. All right, back behind that is a Francoma, I believe. Let's make sure. Art pottery. Yes, a Francoma 835. It's a nice picture, no chips on the on the spout. The handle is intact, it's very nice. I believe somebody used it as a floral arrangement because you can still hear the floral foam in there, but I paid $6 for it and it sells anywhere between eight and $17. The next to that is this Libby Tumble Up. Um, so you put it by your bedside table, you fill the carafe with water, it says Libby Safe, Safe Edge, Safe, um, and then you have your um, drinking glass, 
and you put it on top. You put it by your bedside table. I paid $5 for this. And let's see, it sells between eight and $16. People right now are asking about 24 for them. I picked up this tumble up because I don't find them that often, even though this was just Libby, you know, I liked the blue. Um, I have sold in the past, like a cut glass um, tumble up and those sold very quickly and very well. So we'll see how this one does. Then I had to pick up this art pottery mug right here because it was blue. I liked the glaze. Um, it is signed by CAT. And while I was shopping, I overheard another person said that CAT was a Hallmark pottery brand. I'm not sure about that. But I liked this one. It's pretty. I only paid $4 for it. And it sells anywhere between $5 and $20. Next is this plate right here. I believe it's Okura Japan. Yes, Okura Japan. Um, this is the 40th anniversary of Moramura Brothers. And regular Okura plates sell for about $18. But since this is a 140th anniversary plate, it sells upwards to $57. And I only paid $2 for it. I like the pretty blue and the nice gold on it was not worn away and the pretty the pretty phoenix birds so that was a lovely plate next is this right here I believe it's an olive dish you would lay out your olives on it I guess um, it doesn't have any chips or cracks I don't believe and this is Italian oh no it does right there the teeny tiny one little one little chip right there um, because Italian pottery does have a tendency to chip but this I paid two dollars for and people are asking about 16 for it and it's only sold for about five but there's your made in Italy by ceramic Virginia so we'll see if anybody likes that all right I think that was this half of the table will move to the other half of the table. Starting with this print right back here. I believe it's a watercolor print. And for some reason, I just like the bird and the flowers and the, I don't know, oriental nature of it with the, with the characters. And that's usually like the signature, that little red right there. I paid $2 for it. It's got a bamboo frame. And let's see, what did I write about it? Um... Asian bird and flower watercolor um, bamboo frame. It sells for about $25. Then right in front of it is this wooden bowl with the little itty bowls inside. So a set of five little bowls with the big bowl. Um, when I first looked this up, it was giving me Russian, um, those lacquer wear those wooden bowls, painted bowls, but it is not Russian. It is Japanese. It is a Japanese hand-turned um, wood bowl, mid-century. I paid $8 for it, and it sells anywhere between $17.50 and $32. Must have been in an antique store with that B38 on it. Um, but I liked, I liked the hand-carved design. I liked the colors. I like that it had it loose little bowls with it. I'm thinking maybe you put like nuts in the bowl and then these are the little the little scoopy bowls for individual servings maybe. That's what I'm thinking that maybe you'd use it for. All right, and then next to that is this ceramic serving bowl. Um it's like in the shape of a shell and I couldn't find specific ones like this one um, and I couldn't tell like what the pattern on the bottom was but it is made in the USA so might be California pottery possibly it's got a number right there 3735 maybe um, if it were blue you know I would be tempted to keep it for my one day lake house this one does only has one little little bitty chip right there so not too bad 
Um, it would sell anywhere between $30 and $55, and I only paid $4 for it. And I found this little jack-o'-lantern. I know it's nowhere near Halloween, so I will have to save it for Halloween, but I like my pumpkins and my jack-o'-lantern, so I picked this up for only a dollar. It is um, signed Lee, and I couldn't find any specific ones attributed to Lee, but um, this little dish would sell for about $15. No chips, no cracks. I like it. All right. Next to that are these little horses. These little horses just, I found so comical. They remind me of those horses that were so full of themselves in Ferdinand the Bull. And so these horses with their hair and their, and their, their looks just reminded me of those. Um, these, I believe, were sold for 50 cents at a garage sale. Um, they have remnants of some sticker and a, and a number there. I couldn't find exactly what they were. I did pay a dollar for them. <laughs> Very funny. And they would sell for about $10 each. And I, in my research, I did find horse on books. So there's a horse on books that sells for a lot of money. So if you find a horse on books, you probably found something good. I don't usually pick up horses, but my daughter, like most little girls, loved horses when she was young, so I guess it was a bit of nostalgia. All right, let's talk about these next. I thought this was like Blue Danube Holland, or um, like the Blue Onion pattern, but they are Sheffield, England, I believe. Um, yes, sh no, Regent Sheffield, England, stainless steel. And I paid a dollar a piece for them, this like cheese and serving set, and they sell anywhere between seven and ten dollars. Then in front of that is little Miss Elf herself, or herself the elf is what she's called. She's on a little lily pad. She's not broken. I picked her up because I have sold ones like these in the past. I believe I had this same exact one and then one on a mushroom. And they sold quickly and for about $30. So that was a nice, nice find right there. All right, next to that are these vintage from the Philippines woven rattan bamboo nesting keepsake boxes. I paid $6 for the set. They are nice inside. They're all red um, lined velvet. And I liked, I don't know, I just liked them. Um, they sell, well, I haven't actually seen anyone sold online yet, but people are asking anywhere between $10 and $20 for the set. All right, last are the Ray Dunn. So there's a surf, a beach, and a bum. And let's see, how much did I pay for them? I paid $3 each for them. Um, Ray Dunn Artisan Collection by Magenta. And these sell anywhere, well, the surf one sells anywhere between um, $8 and $12. And then the beach and the bum sell for a little bit more. They're a little bit more um, desirable. They sell between $12 and $14 each. And I paid $3 a piece for them. Um, I'm tempted to keep the beach bum for my one day lake house maybe sell the surf one because you can't really surf in Ohio unless maybe you're on the back of a boat, maybe skiing, but not so much surfing, not in Ohio, but I'm tempted to keep the beach bums, but we'll see. Well, that was everything that I found on three different trips to the menagerie. And um, if you like this kind of video, please um, consider subscribing. And also I would, um, request that you hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, I thank you for watching.